as you may have already known by my older videos that nakshatras indicate those facets of fate fortune and personality which cannot be changed cannot be avoided cannot be remedied whatever is seen with respect to nakshatras happens for sure so what about the nakshatra of seventh lord nakshatra of venus and what it tells about your marriage you can also take the nakshatra of the ascendant to know about your nature personality behavior etc see this is very simple i am talking of nakshatra padas you know every nakshatra have four padas pada 1 is generally mapped to fire signs in navamsha aries leo sagittarius Pada two is mapped to earthly signs in Navamsha, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pada three is connected to airy signs in Navamsha, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and pada four is connected to watery signs in Navamsha, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, talking with respect to marriage, what happens when the seventh lord is in first pada of any nakshatra? This is fire. there is something common with fire and water anything you put in fire they take it the fire takes it there is nothing that you put into fire that does not burns fire tries to burn everything and when the seventh lord goes into fire nakshatra first pada when the lagna lord goes into first pada lagna lord related to personality seventh lord related to marriage venus related to your approach to marriage you try to take everything of the approaches give your happiness and misery all to me you accept your partner as they are with all their flaws and with everything this is a setup where you and your spouse are one in your eyes what more happens with fire fire have a tendency of going up so these relationships when seventh lord goes here in the first pada the relationship is motivated by the desire of achieving things together enjoying things together it generally indicates a hard working couple giving time to each other working on things together so that they can enjoy it later on in life fiery planet is mars so the relationship is dependent on rationality the relationship is dependent on because you do this for me i should also do this for you a sense of dharma a sense of doing your duties correctly a sense of being the best spouse motivates you in marriage not only this when there is a fire there is smoke so generally when the seventh lord goes into fiery fiery navamshas the first pada of any nakshatra what happens around your marriage there is a lot of negative there are many people who want to lure your spouse there are many people who want to be in a relationship with you this negativity you will have to ignore there are always people around you to talk bad about your spouse and to shake your faith in your spouse that you should not lose at all if you do this this will be the biggest mistake that you will ever have along with this what happens with fire when the fire is small you have to protect it and when the fire becomes strong it is it goes on its own self so this generally indicates a tender relationship where in starting a lot of love care and need a lot of love care affection is needed for the relationship to grow strong generally it indicates a setup where marriage or relationship starts with distrust and because of your effort slowly slowly it grows strong to such an extent that after spending 5 6 years in relationship it becomes your biggest asset later on you can become tension free also and because of all of the efforts that you have done before the marriage the relationship goes like anything else this relationship 
is also strongly motivated by the sense of dharma and rarely there are cheating in such relationships. Why I am saying rarely? Because if the other combinations are otherwise, cheating may also happen. But in 80% cases, there is no cheating at all. Not only this, taking pains for the happiness of the spouse is also the result that I have prominently seen here. Along with this, in this type of a relationship, you become, you try to become guiding light for your spouse also. Which sometimes for a spouse with a weak ascendant can be intimidating, dominating also can be intimidating also and the spouse if the spouse is having a weak ascendant they can also complain that you are dominating or bossy but you are doing this for their benefit also this is what they should understand when the seventh lord goes into the second pada of any nakshatra which is mapped to fire signs in navamsha this does indicate person going into relationship for stability here, stability is most important. In such relationships, people have chosen each other because they think that this particular partner will be most beneficial for me. This partner will make me tension free. If I live with this person, if I be in relationship with this person, I don't have to worry much. The relationship is motivated by this particular sense. Because Earth element is indicated by Mercury. It is generally the intellectual level of the spouse. This is generally the decisions of the spouse which attracts you towards them. But in such relationships, generally there is instability and the native and partner both may be in flirtatious relationship with each other. In such setup, Loyalty, complete loyalty, 100% loyalty to life partner is somewhat difficult as well. Not only this, health related issues, disease related issues, those things which hamper your enjoyment of marriage together, seldom is the case. When the seventh lord goes into second pada, what I have seen that the family of the spouse or your family in your marriage is very disturbing because of which the happiness of marriage is limited to great extent also. In this cases, when the seventh lord goes into second pada of Navamsha, second pada of any nakshatra, what generally happens is that before going into the perfect relationship, there are a lot of rejections and dejections also. Relationship come at that point of time, relationship comes from those places where you have not had even the slightest of expectation. In this case, you have to work continuously for the betterment of relationship. If you stop doing your effort, then the relationship will start becoming shallow. This is a relationship where the couples have chosen each other for their own betterment. And once they find out that their spouse is now not meeting the expectations that they had or when the nature etc. of their spouse is changing, people generally lose interest which leads to breaking of marriage also. Generally, such marriages are surrounded by unfortunate events as well which again hampers your enjoyment related to marriage. Demise of someone, extended responsibilities from office, etc. These things generally become an issue. And slowly, slowly what I have seen that over time in such marriages, the desire of giving happiness to each other, the desire of satisfying each other, the desire of making each other happy fades out, which becomes problematic. When the seventh lord goes into third pada of any nakshatra, this is mapped to the airy signs. In such scenario, generally person do not indicate any sign of love care towards each other. They are generally affected. It seems like this is a couple who do not care about each other. But in the time of distress, they come together as a force. 
but here the relationship is not motivated by being in love with each other etc but is rather motivated by showing some by revenge by jealousy generally in such relationships the motivation of loving the partner is because they want to show their ex or they want to show someone who have insulted them earlier that i can also enjoy things i can also have better things in such type of relationships the couples are interested in their own life they generally don't interfere in the lives of each other while being interested in their own lives they live together as friends who also have some sexual relationship etc with each other as well not only this because air have a tendency of movement lack of interest or loosening of interest also happens very often and this generally characterizes a type of relationship where after some time you think that you should go out and try new things as well and only when you get disappointed in your endeavors you come back to your spouse and you realize that no this is the right person for me because whatever i am wanting in relationship no one can give me but with this person i am better so let's stick with this person only so this is more related to opportunity as well generally in such relationships there is problem of expression even though people want to do something for their spouse and life partner they are not able to do it because of some problems or the other because of their lifestyles not matching with each other because of their interests etc not matching with each other generally becomes an issue because water because air element is ruled by saturn here more efforts are needed even for little happiness to be binded devoted towards each other it takes a lot of efforts and many a time the statements such as now i am tired of doing these many things for you now i am tired of being ignored is very common in such marriages generally in the case of the seventh lord going into uh third pada sexual enjoyment etc is much there this is what binds the relationship but even with slight affliction loss of morality loss of dharma with respect to sexual relationships generally is seen when the seventh lord goes to fourth pada of any nakshatra once again it is water also in this scenario the person does cannot express their cannot express their love completely in one go their expression is very slow which sometimes can you know which sometimes can make the partner feel that you don't love them which is not required just like fire water also engulfs everything so the concept is also like whatever is bad or good i will take it for you whatever the blessings you have we will enjoy it together whatever difficulty we have in our life we will tackle it together also water generally indicates an emotional relationship where even with a slight change in behavior of the spouse you get easily disappointed and the thinking is not of finding some other spouse but the thinking is depressive like killing yourself or being ascetic etc these things can be there when the seventh lord is in a watery sign there are many other people in your family who want to grab your attention which generally becomes a disturbance in the matters of marriage in such marriages when the seventh lord goes into watery sign marriage is not free of external influences and it is because of what is happening in the society what is happening in the world what is happening in the office such proportions generally disturb their personal relationship which is sometimes highly frustrating also when the seventh lord goes into the fourth pada of any nakshatra generally disappointing experiences related to you know love etc that the person have acquired before relationship make them a sadist or escapist in their approach 
which hinders their initial enjoyment in marriage and it is only after the partner have done some serious effort over a prolonged period of time that you start feeling that love can actually come to your life the disbelief turns into belief and then you get to enjoy marital life there is much sexual enjoyment also and whatever wishes and desires you have had from your spouse have had from your partners will come to manifest for sure not only this just like water there is very great bonding with life partner this generally indicates a setup where the person is devote much devoted to their life partner even more than how much they are devoted to their own family members or themselves but in these cases because water is very pure sometimes sharing a lot of information not keeping in control regarding what to talk and what not to talk there can be issues related to fights etc as well which have to be kept into consideration right this is what it generally indicates with respect to marriage when the seventh lot goes into different nakshatra padas and whenever you make predictions the nature of fire earth air and water should be kept into consideration while predicting whereas fire indicates a very passionate relationship where the passion can be fluctuating also and it have to be properly guarded earth indicates an opportunity based relationship where you are in a relationship only because you find an opportunity where air indicates a relationship which can become exclusive at any given point of time just a little bit of strike is needed just a little bit of persuasion is needed water indicates a relationship which generally goes up very well but is highly susceptible to external influences of society and other aspects of life this you should highly consider before making any prediction related to marriage or personality of the native otherwise the prediction may go wrong also